everyone, welcome back. Today's video is another Christmassy one. Um, it'll be my last one because if this video is going up when I want it to go up, it'll be Christmas Eve. So, yay! Happy Christmas! Um, yeah, the name of this piece is simply Bauble Hair um, because that was the first name that I thought of for it. It just popped into my head and ever since then it's stuck. I wanted to give it like a, um, I guess you could say a proper name, but Bobble Hair is stuck. <laughs> um, I don't know, she's got baubles in her hair, so yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I'll talk about the materials. Um, again, it's a mixed media piece. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of these because I, I really, I really enjoy them. Um, I like using lots of different mediums. Um, and playing around with them and seeing how they interact together so I don't see me changing <laughs> anytime soon um, I used Winsor Newton watercolours again I also used the black, silver, gold and green inks uh, the black I only use for our eyelashes I used to use the Pentel brush pen um, for eyelashes and that sort of thing but I've run out of refills and I've been using the just a normal brush and the black ink as sort of a substitute but to be honest I quite enjoy using a brush and ink so I think I'll use up the rest of the black ink that I have at the minute before I buy more refills just to use things up Again, I love the gold and silver metallic ink. They're just so pretty. And I am really taking advantage of the fact that it's Christmas so that I can use them in pretty much every piece of art that I do. <laughs> I'm probably going to do something to do with New Year's as well. So again, I'll be breaking out the gold and silver ink again. <laughs> Why not? It's glittery. Um, I also use coloured pencils, which I usually do for sort of just enhancing certain details and adding a bit more shadow. Um, if you're wondering, I use just the Crayola coloured pencils. I also use some new pen. Well, I say they're new. I've had them for a while, but I've just not used them. Uh, they're called the Boldmere brush pens. Um, I got them from the works here in England. Um, I don't know where else you can get them. They're quite quite cheap. Can't remember how much they were, but they are quite cheap. And um to be honest, I don't know really anything about them because there's not hardly any information on the packaging. So from what I can tell I think they're water based. And they do sort of shred the paper a little bit. But to be honest, I haven't used them a great deal. Um, I used them for the little fairy lights in her hair and that was it. Just because I wanted to use something other than paints. Just, you know, for like the little tiny bit uh, pops of colour. Um, and I didn't quite have the right coloured pro markers. So I tried those. Uh, they worked okay. <laughs> but I haven't tried them on anything substantial yet. So that's a job for the future. As you're watching this, Bobble Hair is available to purchase on various merchandise through my Redbubble store. And it's really late for buying Christmassy things, um, <clears throat> but it's there in case anybody wants it. Okay, so again, I'm going to try and figure out how much time it took me to do this piece. Um, from looking at how much footage I have while I'm editing it. It's about three three hours worth of painting footage. Uh, yeah, just over three hours. And that's just painting, so I'd say about four hours. The Christmas wreath um, in the last video was about five hours. So yeah, it's about, it's about average for this type of piece. I really want to get into doing more detailed work as well, so four or five hours on a piece is 
fair in my opinion. <laughs> but I want to do even more detailed pieces so I'm expecting it to be much more time consuming in the future. While it's nearing the end of 2016, I'm not going to do um, a reflection on 2016 or anything like that, but I just wanted to mention that um, my first event of 2017 so far that I've booked at the minute is um, MCM Midlands Comic Con, which is in Telford. It's on the, uh, on the 11th of February, I believe. And yeah, that's the first one that I have booked at the moment for 2017. Um, and the two after that will be MCM's Liverpool and Birmingham in March. But as it stands, Telford is the next one for me. So I'm looking forward to that. I haven't done Telford in a couple of years. So I'm quite looking forward to it. But yeah, that's a quick update on that. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about. So I think I will just let you watch the rest in peace with some Christmas music. And I hope you're all having a wonderful Christmas. Or whatever it is for you this time of year. And like I said, this should be going up on Christmas Eve, so... I hope you're all excited for tomorrow. I know I am. <laughs> My Harry Potter, um, the Wizarding World loot crate got delivered a few days ago and I was so pleased with myself. I made myself put it under the Christmas tree and wait for Christmas Day. I was like, I can do it. I've waited this long. I can wait a few more days. So I'm so excited for that. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful time and there are only two more videos left from me for this year which is really strange to think but um, yeah here's to looking forward to next year even though we still have a bit left of this year left to go <laughs> but yeah I will see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed this one um, have a very happy Christmas or whatever and I will see you in the next video bye